there's this company called Caddy Solutions, and there's this tool they made, this AI tool called Caddy. Caddy automatically reads data sheets and your bill of materials to give you like instant reviews on whether you have errors in your design or not. This is an absolute game changer. This tool is so amazing and I can't wait to show it to you. Okay, so I have an example design here and I am in Altium. This is the Kame FMU project. So we'll go to design and netlist for the project, right? So all you have to do is to run the netlist. I'm gonna use Telesis. And so here, the folder has the netlist. It was generated. I'll show you how to generate your bill of materials because you need that too before you can send it in for analysis. Pull up the active bomb. So you would just go to report bill of materials. This looks good. So now that I've generated the bill of materials and the net list, here's how you use them and analyze them in Caddy. All you have to do is go to their website, then click sign in. Now I'll upload my net list. Go into the main project folder, project outputs, grab the .NET file. Next, I need to upload my bill of materials file. So here, and use this as my bill of materials. Next, hit analyze. Now check this out. Boom. Caddy inspects the data sheets for all of the parts, like in seconds. Okay, so I'm going to expand these and check this out. It lets us know about a specific chip, a specific IC U10 in the schematic, whether the pin should be left floating. And here's the cool thing. You can choose whether to fix it or to ignore it. And each time you change each of these responses, their AI learns from the responses, not just from your design, not just from your design, but from other people's designs as well. That's crazy. So let's go and check the schematic. In this design, the six pin DFN package, if I were to double click on this, it shows that I actually have the DFN package. See the six pin DFN. Now, when I go to the data sheet and look in here, in fact, the six pin DFN package is supposed to be an output on pin four, and then the no connect is only on pin three. Okay, and that's correct. But since we're using the DFN, uh, six pin DFN, we can ignore these errors. Now, here's another problem. This thing actually needs fixing because when I checked earlier, this part, the U12 and the U7, uh, there's no guarantee that we're actually going to get the load that we we're expecting. So I would leave those as need to fix. Then we have this other issue of U12 not having a pull-up resistor. Okay, might need to fix that. And then there's a warning with VCC connection instruction violation. A capacitor connected between this pin to ground should have a value of one point of one microfarad. So if I look at U2, there's a 22 microfarad capacitor here. So this gives us more than what we need. But luckily, we don't need to fix that. We can ignore it. Okay, so this is the power of Caddy. It also lets me know what's the lowest temperature my board can handle and the highest temperature it can handle because it says it shows in here in the lower left cold ambient operating temperature weakest link and the hot ambient operating temperature weakest link weak or weakest link excuse me so it stops working at 85 degrees c and at negative 40 degrees c so this device let's say i need to operate in a lower temperature than this or a higher temperature than the 85 i can't use this chip I have to use something else and I also have to use something else here and something else here depending on my environment. So all of these checks Caddy is able to do and that's what makes it so powerful. Here is the full Caddy features list, or at least the current list anyhow. So here we can do violating direct connection instruction. So it lets you know, hey, if you're supposed to connect something or if you're missing a decoupling capacitor, that's a big thing, decoupling capacitors. Missing pull-up and pull-down resistors is very important. You might have open drain circuits, I squared C, your different types of connections, lines, see if those have mistakes. Uh, supply voltage outside of max operating conditions, and all of these things that it can check for. I modified the schematic to this new design. I changed C12 to some uh, crazy part number. So what I would do is go to the design in this new design, upload the new files. So here I'm in the folder with the new files, the new Altium netlist, and the new updated bill of materials. Let's go ahead and analyze this. 
and voila now we've got a few more errors this is what i'm talking about all right so same errors from the previous uh things that we didn't adjust or fix you know we can ignore these that's good then you have the error incompatible logic levels right so you can set that as a group to need to fix remember when i pulled up the sheet the property sheet that says or lets us know if our supply voltage is outside of max operating conditions well here it is this is the proof yes need to fix and then the error u12 okay where it says there's a missing pull-up resistor so that needs to fix for sure and then go to u2 right it's saying we've got the one microfarad but actually this is fine because i have 22 microfarads and then for c12 this capacitor may not be ready or quite ready for the job for that handling the voltage on the rail so we need to fix this beautiful beautiful and then of course the temperature limits and ranges are, are there as well okay so that is that i'm going to download this report for this modified design and that is the power of caddy wow okay wow wow um so first of all i like that the fact that this is really easy to use i can just upload my netlist and bill of materials as you saw and then it will like look at the part data the manufacturing part info and then pull the data sheets automatically also for security purposes i like that um it's not actually reading my schematic it's actually reading the data sheet the fact that i can put in a complex design in there it won't take long i don't need to set anything up there's no complicated uh, configuration process and it doesn't read my design it just reads the metadata the data sheets on its own that's extremely powerful and i get to save so much time that i have to deal with fewer design iterations this can reduce the cycle from four to five prototypes down to maybe one or two i was on the action and ambition podcast for tech and i was talking about really the responsibility i think that we have as uh, ai people and engineers to have artificial intelligence assist us in doing what we need to do better um definitely like and subscribe if you like this kind of content if you want me to share more of this cutting edge things that are that are helping us as engineers do our work better and give us an easier time if you like an in-depth explanation about how to design uh, power electronics then check out my video and if you want any tutorials that show you how to design your own printed circuit board and hardware designs in Altium Designer check out the playlist or video in this in, in this video here